Hey guys, I thought I would uh, do a little demonstration with the pearlescent watercolor set that I got at Michael's. There's 21 colors. Um, it is from Yasutomo. Never heard of it before. Uh, they're pan watercolors. And that's what they say they're good for. So, here they are. Here are the colors I've already sprayed. I'm going to spray a little more with my water bottle. Get them wet. And I'm going to swatch them on white paper, white cardstock, and black cardstock so we can see how it goes. So I'll start with this one. Move that back a little. So when I was doing my haul video, I forgot to say how much I paid for the Halloween paper stack. Stack because I had all the Halloween stuff was 50% off, and then I had an extra 20% off coupon. So I ended up only paying $7.99 for that paper stack, and I just really, really like it. The pages are really cool. These are really nice. It's, it feels really smooth in the pan. It doesn't feel scratchy or rough or anything. It just feels really silky smooth. When I put the brush to the pan. Oh, hang on. These are nice. I don't know how they compare to the, is it Kiritake, who has all the gold, the beautiful gold pan watercolors, the metallic ones. I don't have any of those. I thought these would just be fun to play with. It has a nice selection of colors. That's like a mint green. I like to get it really wet because then um, I get less streaking. On the paper, I like to get the the paint really wet because then it all just kind of blends together. That's a champagne color. Try the silver. I think some of these are going to look really nice on black paper. I'm really curious to see what they're going to do. I have glitter everywhere, you guys. <laughs> That's not an exaggeration. It was all over the floor, all over my craft table. This purple is really pretty. So what have you guys been up to? Yeah, I like these. I like them a lot. I don't know if they're if they'll work on rocks or not. I haven't tried it. It's the first time trying them. So what have you guys been working on? What projects have you been doing? Are you doing Halloween? Are you starting on Christmas? I don't do a lot of Christmas projects. I might do a Christmas wreath like the Halloween wreath I did. That was fun. It was easy to do. It was messy though. I had glitter and strands of that mesh all over. Um, it was messy, but it was easy to do. And if I remember, I'll link the video below of the woman 
I uh, copied her method of doing the oh and my water is looking really pretty too very pearlescent this color is so pretty I love this color look at that it's copper but it has more red to it kind of a rose copper, not a rose gold. That's beautiful. That may be my favorite color in the set. And this green is really nice and bright. So two of the colors, the this black and then this orange had fallen out. So all I did was I sprayed the bottom of the palette and put them back in. So hopefully they'll stick. I'm sure they just got dried out. These are so pretty, you guys. So for Halloween, our friends Michael and Tina, they host the annual Halloween party. And we might be taking it over next year, but it'll be the Saturday before Halloween. And I'm really looking forward to it. I made some treat boxes and I made that coffin for them. And I'm going to make, because I'm doing keto again, I'm going to make a pizza dip. I mentioned that in my, when I showed you the stuff that I got yesterday in my haul. Um, I'm gonna make a pizza dip keto pizza dip. So I cooked the um, the Italian sausage today because I want to make it. I want to uh, do a trial run of it and see how it goes if I want to tweak anything with it. So I cooked the Italian sausage and I don't know if I'll make it later today or if I will wait until tomorrow? I don't know. Mike is finishing up his guy's weekend. I'm not sure when he's going to be home, but last night they went uh, to Madame Tussauds, which is at the Venetian. And then they went and had dinner. Where did they have dinner? I'm trying to remember what he said. Oh, they went to the Grand Lux in the Venetian. That's one of our favorite restaurants on the Strip. It's really good. If you ever get to Vegas, to the Strip, or if you're staying at the Venetian, check out the Grand Lux Cafe. Excellent menu. Many options. Very good food. So they had dinner there, and that... Oh, I already did that one. <laughs> they had dinner there, and then they went to the Stratosphere to have a drink, so there's a bar on the top of the stratosphere that Tony loves, my stepson, Mike's son. And that's his favorite place. He knows all the bartenders and he hangs out there. The only thing is the drinks are about 20 bucks a piece. That's pretty common for Las Vegas, the Strip. So if you come to Vegas, that's another cool place to go is just to go to the uh, to the bar on the top of the stratosphere. You don't have to have a drink or anything, but and we went a few years ago and the view is just amazing. But they do have um, you have to go through a metal detector and they check your bags and just to make sure you're not a terrorist, I guess. And the last one here on the white paper. That one's still really wet, so I don't wanna tip it, but um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the black paper next, and then once they dry, I'll come back and show you the results. 
Okay, let's do the black paper now. There. I think everything is in frame. These do dry pretty well. Okay, Joan, you live in the Mojave Desert. What do you expect? They do dry pretty quickly in the pan. If you live in a humid climate, probably not so much. Oh, wow, look at that. I had a feeling these were going to be gorgeous on black paper. Oops, I got my brush a little too dry. So we're going to have the Halloween party at Tina and Michael's and I'm going to make that pizza dip. And Mike, I haven't told anyone, I told them that it's a surprise of what he was going to do. He's going to get donuts and he ordered, you know, those fake plastic fang style teeth you know, that you can put in your mouth. Um, he ordered some of those, a bunch of those, and so he's going to. <laughs> and I got um, candy eyes and some candy fake blood. And so he's going to decorate the donuts with those teeth and then the, the eyes. I'm not really sure how it's going to turn out or what he's envisioning, but he actually has quite the creative side to himself. He doesn't do art, um, but he is pretty creative. And he um, decorated the whole outside in the front of the house for Halloween. It looks really good. So he has a he has a good eye. Well, of course he picked me. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm just being silly. Look at these, you guys. Oh my goodness, these are so pretty. The lighter colors, you know, you get a little bit of patchiness, but that's the nature of the pearlescent, the shimmer. See, when you add more water, it looks better because then it all just pools together. I hope this isn't too boring. If it is, you can just fast forward to the end. My feelings won't be hurt. But I thought you might want to see how they work. If it's something that you're interested in, if you've thought about buying the more expensive watercolors and you weren't sure how you're going to use them or if you would like it this might be the way to go i used my 40 percent off coupon so it came out to what did i say 5.99 or something yeah i'm curious to see how these are going to look once they dry, because right now that white and the silver look very sil similar on, on the black paper. And this one too. And I do have a long art background. I started when I was a little kid. My mom went to art school in Chicago after high school and we found her portfolio this was before she passed away but we found her portfolio and she had a bunch of her nude sketches in there and I had told my husband that my mom was a was a very good artist and he was like yeah 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 so then when we found the nudes he, he looked at me and he says god these are really good she was really good and I said I told so, you didn't believe me. But, yeah, I've taken a lot of art classes. I had really great art teachers in high school. I was really fortunate. They really helped me develop my drawing skills. Um, and one year, I don't, was, I don't remember. I mean, this was 40-some years ago. But at one point, we did a lot of anatomy and physiology. So, we had to draw 
um, like the bones of the hand or the feet, skulls, um, so that you would understand the underneath structures. And there are some really wonderful artists on here on YouTube. Dee Dee Willingham is one. And there are several young artists who I enjoy watching. They do a lot more of the um, cartoon anime stuff, but it's still fun to watch them create. And then one young woman, I think she's from Sweden. Holy cow, is she good. Her artwork is fabulous. I don't remember her name. And a lot of them will do uh, videos. They order cheap art supplies off of Wish. And they'll show them and, whoop, I got a little of the pink in there. And then they'll create a piece of art with what they bought from Wish. When we lived in Fairbanks, they, the community had a very strong art community. A lot of potters, a lot of artists, painters. Um, and every July, they had the Fairbanks Summer Arts Festival. It lasted two weeks. So if I, and I did it every other year. I did it three, three times every other year because I'd have to take two weeks out from the salon. And um, the last one I did was a drawing class, which was fun because I hadn't had a drawing class since college. And uh, it was one I had requested two years prior. I asked just for a, a plain old drawing class. And if I remember, maybe I'll put some of my drawings from that class at the end of this video. It was called um, drawing with the right brain. And so in essence, what you're doing is you're breaking your subject down into shapes. So for example, if you're drawing a flower, you look at the, the shape of the petals, you know, most people will do like a little cartoon flower, you know, with the petals and the center and which is cute. But if you want it to look more realistic, Drawing with the right brain is a really good technique. And I've I took two watercolor classes. I think it was two. So that was fun. You'd go up to the university. The only thing was parking was a pain. But it was a fun time. I really enjoyed it. I took a watercolor landscape class which was good because oh man my my watercolor my landscapes were terrible until I took this class so I really learned a lot about different techniques and how to get a really nice painting and then a little bit before I met Mike in the late 90s I took two semesters of continuing adult education with a woman and uh, boy, I really learned a lot from her too. Really up to my skill level. Well, what am I doing? <laughs> I wanted to get that more wet, so <laughs> I stuck this color in there. Uh, these are, some of them look like they're kind of seeping into the paper a little bit, but we'll just have to wait until it's dry to really see what they're gonna do. Yeah, these golds are nothing like the Kiritaki ones that Dee Dee Willingham shows. Oh, and then I missed the brown. These would be so much fun for my altered projects like the the one cigar box I showed the the black one I painted a little 
sky scene on that. And uh, these would be really good for that. Okay, let's go and get that brown. Are you guys watching any Halloween shows or movies? I've already seen Hocus Pocus. We watched um, with our cable here. We have Cox Cable here in Vegas and um, they have Contour and On Demand. And so Tony and I were watching Death Becomes Her with Goldie Hawn and um, <sighs> Meryl Streep. Hadn't seen that since it came out. That's a funny movie. And then I've been watching the Halloween Baking Championship. That is a fun one. And I was watching Halloween Wars for a while, but the, the stupid fake drama just started bothering me, and so I quit watching that. I hate that when they create all this fake drama. We have enough drama in our lives. And they have all the haunted shows out now. I'm watching one right now. What's it called? Let me see here. It is called Haunted Things. And it's on the Travel Channel. If you're interested. Yeah, I really like these. I think these are going to work really well in some of my projects. I don't do paintings really anymore. To be honest, really about the only time I did do painting was when I was taking a class. And I'm very ADD with my crafting, so... I like to do all sorts of things. And if I see something on YouTube... I want to try then I will try something new okay guys well that is what it looks like on the black paper while it's still wet and I will come back when they're dry and I'll give you a, a peek of what they look like when they're dry Okay guys, this is what the paints look like when they're dry. On the white paper, they're a little more patchy in some areas than in others. But they're really pretty. Look at how vibrant that yellow is. That is so gorgeous. There you can really see. So these would be fun if you have kids, if you want to experiment with different paints and painting techniques. These would be fun. And here are the black swatches. Beautiful. I really, really like it, especially on the black paper. They're gorgeous. So because it was a little patchy here on the white, I wanted to just maybe take this color and see what it would look like. If I try to do a shape Let's see what color. Let's do this color. Oh, see? Now I got some of that in there. I'm not rinsing my brush out well enough. Yeah, they definitely work better if you have, if it's really wet.
So, is that on the white? They're nice on the white paper, but I really like them on the black paper. Let's see if I can get this clean. I need to change my water out. Let's do that's such a pretty color. I think that they're better on black paper, but these papers aren't the same. Um, the black is cardstock from Michaels, Recollections, you know, that comes in the packs of the different colors. Um, so that's what this is. It feels a little more porous than the white. Um, this feels like it has more of a coating on it, and maybe that's why they don't, why they leave white marks because it seems like this is that the paints are really soaking into the paper here. But, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm happy with these. And then a couple of features here that I didn't point out. It's interesting, I thought it might come with a brush because it has the, the tray here for the brush, but it doesn't. And then you have these nice little mixing wells if you want to try to mix some colors together. Um, what should we try? Let's try this blue. Can you see, are you guys in? Okay, try this blue, put that there. And then we'll try this pink and see what we get. Ooh, that's pretty. So yeah, you can blend these and come up with your own, mix them, come up with your own color combinations. And so yeah, and this pad right here is from Dollar Tree. I got the idea from Roxy, Roxy Fur. Uh, it's really nice if you want to sketch something out. Uh, when I was doing my rocks painting my rocks I would sketch out the sketch it out here on here first and then use that to go forward for my rocks so anyway uh, here's the receipt so the paper stack was $7.99 the coffins were $2.39 I really wish I would have gotten another one the sticker book 80 cents and then the paints were $5.99 so good deal okay guys thanks for watching and I'll just see you next time take care happy Halloween